Outstanding first responder, Father of the Year, Joshua Dukewitz. We nominated uh, Josh Dukewitz um, for Dad of the Year because he's really deserving. Um, he does just as much as I do with raising these two. So um, I feel blessed that I have someone in my life that splits things up 50 50. So I would, how I would describe Josh as far as the qualities that each of our kids have. Um, Myla is so adventurous. Um, she is a risk taker. Um, she tries new things. Um, and Josh does that all the time. And then Mason over here looks just like Josh. Um, just, he's really, really athletic. Um, and Mason has proven to be very similar he can pick things up things um, seem to come natural to him but also with that even though if things come natural that you still really have to work at them if you actually want to find success one word whenever i think of josh that comes to mind always is passion and um, in his line of work he has started out by years ago um started out as a volunteer in the fire service and now he's worked his his self up all the way to the chief's position. Um, and so that in itself is just really, really an awesome accomplishment. Um, but the great thing about Josh is even though over time as he has worked, he has always stayed like humble and he always wants to serve his community as if he were, you know, volunteering or on the front line that day. Um, he loves to cook and he's turned that into a business. Um, he made up his own sauce recipes and we've turned that into a sauce, a barbecue sauce business. Um, so he's very, very talented in, um, I guess, seeing the potential in things and actually moving forward. When a lot of people, I think, dream, but never try, you know, to do it. He puts out fire that the firefighter station and then he rock climbs almost every day and he goes on runs every day. He's adventurous like us because a lot of people that are parents when they get older they start slowing down and they don't they're not as active but he's one of those parents that loves to do stuff with his kids and no matter what the situation is, he'll always be fun and active and does stuff with you no matter what. I like how we get to rock climb and camp and do a lot of fun things because that just makes him a better dad every time he does something that I want to do. Uh, Josh, I just want to let you know how proud I am of you um, for everything you do for our family. Um, whew, you know, I'm a crier. but. Um, Anyways, we uh, are so thankful for things that you do every day, um, for the love you show us all the time, um, and for the great example you are for our kids, uh, to always, always, always um, show them um, an example of kindness, hard work, uh, someone that um, values other people, uh, and someone that others always uh, look up to. So thank you for everything, uh, you two. We're, We're so, so proud, proud of you, Dad. Dad. Outstanding Father of the Year in the Trades, Christopher Hunt. He's great. He's kind of like our family's personal superhero in a way. Like he just does everything. He's always there for everyone. Um, he's very present. Um, yeah, he's just dad. He's our dad and we love him. Yeah, honesty has just been so big forever. Um, I can tell you a story about when I was a kid and we had like a prize box at school if you didn't get your name written on the board and I came home with two packs of M&Ms and he knew I was only supposed to have one. 
So I had to take the other pack. He took me to the gas station. We bought two packs of M&Ms. We went back to school and I had to tell my teacher that I took two instead of one. And from that day on, that's it. I'm not taking anything that wasn't mine. So, but yeah, honesty has just been huge and he's, yeah, made sure that we kind of live by that. It's a character for our family, for sure. I would say, you know, definitely when we were younger, um, just presence, like he was, he was always there when we needed him, no matter what the situation. Um, and then moving into like, you know, just sporting events and things like that. He always showed up, he was always there, he was in the front row, he was doing all the things to make sure we had a good time and were able to do what we needed to do. But then even getting older, it's almost, you know, not so much of a parent relationship, more of a friend, I would say. But, you know, he put me and my brother both through college and um, he's moved me numerous times more than he would like. Um, he's, you know, toted my stuff up and down apartment staircases that, you know, a dresser with a marble top that weighs a million pounds. And he just does it with no, I mean, no hesitation. It's just, we've got stuff, you know, it's, they're my kids and I'm gonna show up for them. And that's just, it's just little by little over growing up and we just know he's always gonna be there for us. There's never a question of, is he gonna show up? It's just, we know we can always count on him. He's always got our back. I know as a kid, anytime we got hurt, he just would jump right into the action. I know my brother, fell up um, some bleachers one time at a baseball game and he didn't hesitate. He had a huge gash on his forehead. He needed stitches. And my dad just, I think he was coaching at the time maybe, or he was on the field or something. And he had ran up and he wrapped his t-shirt around Connor's head and we went to the emergency room. And it's just things like that. It's, you know, he just doesn't, he doesn't hesitate. He just always knows what to do. Yeah, he's always just the steady in any chaos. I mean, not even chaos, but just he is. He's just calm and steady. You know, when you I know I probably freak out more than Connor does. So if I'm freaking out, he's definitely the one I want to go to because I know it's just going to be it's just going to be easy. And I know it's you know, he's going to be able to calm me down every you know, everything's just going to be good. And he's going to reassure me that the world's not ending and just the way he does that is special and no one else can do that because he's my dad. Hi, Dad. Um, we nominated you for this award because we love you and we feel that we don't tell you that enough. And we're so proud of you and we're happy to have you as our dad and we're the luckiest kids in the world. So we love you. Thank you. Outstanding Father of the Year in Law Enforcement, Joseph Taylor. He's an awesome dad. He works all the time, is a great detective. Um, I've learned everything I know, like doing my job about stuff that he's taught me. So ever since I can remember, I was four years old when he went into law enforcement. So he's been in law enforcement for over like 20 years now. Um, ever since I can remember a little kid, like he's always, he would work during the week when we were kids, um, like at his regular job during the week welding. And then on the weekends he would go work 12 hour shifts um, for free without getting paid at the sheriff's office because he loved to do it. And then eventually, I think I was in middle school when um, he took like the leap and joined the police department full time and took like a huge pay cut to do it. Um, but my parents made it work and then he's just grown and he does a great job, loves what he does. Um, but he's worked his butt off and just showed like our whole family what the rewards um, from law enforcement are helping different families and um, just following cases through and getting justice for victims. So like on his cases, um, a lot of law enforcement, they do, they want to be like the hero in the case um, to make themselves look better. He works the case in the best interest of the victims and their families and um, helps them pursue some sort of justice and works the case the best he can. He's not doing it for um, in anybody other than the victims. He's not doing it to make himself look better or get like a pat on the back, he's doing it for them. Um, he was gone a lot, like I can remember during school and stuff like my basketball games, he would he would be at work in his uniform and stuff and he would still make an appearance at like basketball games and stuff when I was playing, even if he was working. Um, if like just the other day, I locked my keys in my car at work out front and had to call him and to come unlock my car um, to help me with get my keys out of my car. So just anytime we need something, he's always there. 
in the, the job that he does, he's the only detective at the police department. So he sees and deals with a lot of horrible things that nobody should ever have to deal with. Um, and he he's strong because um, he doesn't let it, he lets it like it bothers him obviously, but he just keeps going um, and knows how to deal with that and um, just doesn't give up. Keeps pursuing um, cases and doing the best he can because he, he's got to help people. So. But he, he's one of my best friends. Work and working with him every day just made us closer. Um, my son loves him. That's, yeah, Papa Joe. That's what he goes by. But yeah, he loves all of his grandkids. It's hard because my sister lives out of state, but he tries to spend a lot of time with my son. How does he riding, riding the tractor. He loves riding the tractor with him. Um, going fishing. They go fishing a lot together. Weston absolutely loves it. I love you, Dad, and I'm so glad you won this award, finally. Um, you deserve it, and I'm glad that you're one of my best friends, and I get to work with you every day. Outstanding Father of the Year in Transportation, Lee Williams. So we've been married three years. The other five, we actually grew up together. So we met when we were like four and five years old and known each other all our lives, and yeah. Lee is a good partner um, because even though he's a UPS driver and he works, you know, long hours, especially like during the pandemic, um, he still comes home and he's present, like, instead of just kind of being completely not engaged or, you know, he helps around the house, but it's more than that. It's like actually being a good listener, um, being present, whether if it's like with me, family, you know, his son or our pets, whatever it is we're doing, like he kind of focuses on what's in front of him. And I think that kind of makes him stand out. I remember a specific moment, um, the middle niece, Momo, she was excelling at soccer. Like she, it was just her thing. They all had found one sport. The twins really love volleyball. But she had a moment where she was hit a goal and like his eyes teared up on the field. And this guy next to him goes, oh, is that yours? She's awesome. And he was like, no, 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 she's not mine. She's my niece. And he just like stood up and cheered and, you know, he just claimed her like, yeah, she's mine. And I was just like, he could have like, you know, made the difference or the label, but to him it's like, he just kind of claims them. It's like, yeah, they're my family. I'm going to take them on. And it was just so sweet to look in her face. Like she didn't notice that a certain parent wasn't there. She noticed people had showed up for her. And I think that makes like all the difference. And that doesn't mean terrible of it, but just things like that, like, you know, just being there when I know he's tired and I'm just like, oh, you know, I, I want him to be recognized for that. So he is a UPS driver. Lee's been with UPS for 10 years. But during the pandemic, uh, delivery drivers, and they were essential workers. And so they worked six days a week, sometimes 10 to 12 hours a day. And he just like didn't complain. Like he still um, took his son to like appointments on Saturdays. And, you know, that's hard to do. And you're, if he did get that weekend off, he would still do that present parenting. And I think that um, obviously it was a tough time for everyone in the world. And it just, really spoke to the character for me for him. He would just come home and have enough time to like go to sleep and eat and do it all over again. And it was just like, well, without you right now, hospitals aren't getting medicine. There's people that are disabled, elderly people at home that need their medicine and food. And kind of like, I was just in awe of him at that time because I was like, this is so tough. Even when we were kids, he's always been like my best friend, like respectful, um, affectionate, like even with his family. Like some guys, you know, will, are raised to be like tough and not express emotion and he's the kind of partner and dad that says like I love you you know he makes sure his nieces nephews kids like hear that from him it's really important um, because he didn't have that in his life and so he completely broke that cycle and I love that and the way I think he's like a great kind of same figure to his nieces and nephews was uh, there was a father-daughter dance coming up and that's like a big moment for a girl you know that's like your first dance you get to get dressed up and um, like I said, their situation with not a present parent, he took them, all three of them. You know, it's a lot, because you have to like trade off dancing, you have to be there to pick them all up, and he got them corsages, he got them jewelry, they got their hair done. Um, he does things like that. He took them to a kid's spa. He treats them that way, so they kind of know the standard of like, how their partner should treat them when they're older, but also like, how they feel about themselves like I have someone that shows up for me I, instead of that absence and so I think that's where I was just like you know this is really outstanding because he doesn't have to but also like he gets a joy out of it. Lee we're so proud of you we love you congratulations on your award um, 
thank you for the joy you bring to our lives. I know you don't get to get that recognition often, but just having you as a husband, a dad, a son, a nephew, a grandson, a brother, you definitely make a difference in all of the people's lives that uh, you're involved in, especially your nieces and nephews and your kids, and we love you.